The wig update, it's Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. Everything is planted. They all have the foil on top and they put the label on each of the stickers. And I basically have two black seated Simpsons here, here. I have two burpee bibs, one of the red rouge lettuce, two kales. I have two spinach, which is giant noble spinach. I have two endives and I have one butter crunch lettuce. So that's what's going on here. It's on a cycle for 16 hours. So far, so good. Nothing has germinated as yet. I took the clear coating off of the light. I do see some cracks in it. I'm going to complain and see what's going on. The water is full and has fertilizer in it, but it did say when I actually read all the fine print that I did not need to put fertilizer in until maybe they germinated. So an error on my part. The light's off, but it's on on the background and the pump is going. The screen, I guess, stays off for energy saving, but the light is on. The setting on it is vegetables. And I guess as it goes on through, throughout the days, it counts from zero to 99 days. It'll change the intensity of the light or I can change it to the fruiting and or leafy green setting. I think there's another setting, but I can't remember Nothing yet, but it's sitting here. I am going to spray inside the lids with some water and peroxide. Second day on the hydroponics. I don't know if you can see, but that one is popping up the black seeded Simpson. I see something happening in the rouge. All the lettuce, if I look with a white light, I see something happening. That's hard to see on camera with the grow lights. But I even see something right here, but it's hard to see without the white lights. And I don't want to change the settings, but... And I definitely see something in the end dive. Let me see if I can... You guys ain't seeing nothing. But trust and believe, day two, something is happening, okay? So I will do another update in another two days. Day three, WIG 2022. If you can see, the end dive is popping up. This one is popping up. You can see there's something going on in there. There's something going on in the kale. It's hard to see with these lights, but I'm trying to show you. Hopefully the camera's picking up in there. There's something in the, in the hole. The second lacinato kale. Hopefully something is picking up. <laughs> Otherwise you're seeing reflections. Flashing lights, reflecting. And the black seeded Simpson, definitely something out there. I'm going to keep it covered though. This one is the burpee dip. Whoops. There's something happening right there. You can see that's the seeds. And this is the rouge. Something is happening there. It's hard to see because the color of the lettuce is red, but something is definitely happening there. This one, I don't see anything on the other burpee lettuce. Let me lift it out and see with my naked eye. Something is germinating in there, but nothing quite yet but three days guys and Mike's chaotic I got my little figurine a little dinosaur I found to decorate okay we're doing an update which is day four and if you can see I took the covers off of a few of them there is a seedling there there's a seedling there that one's coming out good that one's the kale the end dive is looking good and the other end dive I see the butter crunch coming through you can see it kind of coming through. I have six lids still on, but everything else has germinated. The kale, I put one seed in those. The lettuce, I think I put two in each, so there's probably two. I'm really not a fan of taking out the seedling and destroying it, so I'm gonna just, they may be overcrowded, but I'm gonna let them both grow. There's two endives in each of those cells, but it's looking very good. Four days, and I have almost everything fully germinated. Okay, this is day five. The tank is still pretty much full. It's very quiet, so I'm very happy with it. You can see better in brighter daylight before the actual grow lights go on. The seedlings coming out that I've been speaking about, but you may not have really seen clearly. The light goes on in half an hour, so I want you to see before that purple bluish light kind of goes on. That's the lacinato kale. This one is popping up. You can see better today the endive that's already popped out. That's the butter crunch. So I could probably take some of these covers off, to be honest. So I'll take those off. Nothing with these spinaches yet. The spinach pack, though, did say it would take longer for the spinach to germinate compared to lettuce. So I'll give it a few more days and see. But the kale is coming up. I put two seeds, I believe, in each of them, except for the spinach. I put one. I thought I put one kale in, but I guess I put two 
things happening here and I do not want to kill anything so I'll see how it works but I'm going to leave the two seeds and this is going to be the red lettuce maybe that one didn't have two or it died so follow the instructions and plant two seeds so that will secure your germination I'm on day five and you can see how well everything is going so far okay another update today is day six everything is germinated except for the two here with the lids on them and those are both giant noble spinach everything is doing very well and i'm just waiting for the spinach i'm going to check the pack again i think that takes several days to germinate and the light is going to turn on in about 30 minutes Again, the water is still very full because the plants have just germinated. So let's just take a look. If we see, usually there's a tap root that comes out. I don't see anything coming out yet. Probably way too early. The kale. Oh, but you do see a tap root in the kale. See that? This kale, not just yet. It's not too far behind. And one of the endives, let me check. Yep, definitely a tap root. So I'm probably going to notice a lot more feeding going on. Let me try this lettuce. Did I try this one yet? Okay, so the lettuce is probably more shallow. That's what's going on. It's going well. Wig 2022. This is, says day seven. The kale is really growing. The endive is really popping out of the cells. The butter crunch, nothing going on with the spinach yet. Last night I went live with the ginger shot. So Mike said his spinach never grows there. He has to put them in paper towel. So I might fish out these same seeds and try them in paper towel and see what happens. This is day nine. I forgot to do it before the lights came on, so it's hard to see. But the kale is really like maybe even an inch tall. The black seeded Simpson, I'm going to go right up so you can see it's very difficult with the lights. The Rouge Diva lettuce, the true leaves are coming out. This one is a little slow. This one is coming up, Burpee Bib, the Black Seeded Simpson, the other Kale, the Endive, the Standalone Butter Crunch is there. Spinach, nothing is happening. Cap is still on. The tank is still full. The pump is on right now. I'm going to be quiet and see if you can hear it. You can barely hear it. It sounds like a small buzzing. The same buzzing you'll hear if you have your appliances plugged in that electronic little low buzzing sound. That's all that I'm hearing. This is the hydroponics, guys. It's looking very good. Update for day 11. Uh, Burpee Bib, Black Seated Simpson, Black Seated Simpson, Rouge Diver, Burpee Bib. Last Sonato Kales are doing well. I'm going to try to separate them. Let's see, and that's the update. For day 11, day 12, everything is still full. Take a quick look at the top. The lettuces are looking good. The kale's looking real good. Endive's looking good. Today I'm planning on separating the kale. I think there's they're big enough that I can separate them gently enough. Uh, there's two in there. There's just two endives. And that's how everything looks on day 12. This is day 13. I changed the settings. It's on vegetable, but I put it on fruit because vegetable only has it on like the blue light. So here's what's going on now. It looks fantastic. I'm very happy with this. And today's the 24th of January. These look fantastic. I also, I did split up the kale and I did split up the endive just to try it out. So that will stay. And the reason why I did that was because I moved it. So let me show you. I used the new unit and I moved the kale, which I think I messed up the root by accident, I, the tap root, but I put the food in there so it looks like it's okay. The endive looks a bit funky. I don't know what happened. I think I sprayed it with the peroxide and the leaves got stuck. Okay, today is showing day 15. So the white light is on. During the daytime, in the evening, when it's not finished the cycle, I put it back on the vegetable setting, which is that setting, so that overnight the light is not so bright for me. Kale, it's doing his thing. The true leaf is showing up for the dinosaur kale. This one is a little bit behind, but it's coming along. The lettuce is doing okay. This one is a little slow, but it's coming along nicely. 
I am not splitting up the ones that are two because it's just going to get damaged. The end dive that I did split is looking okay, not too, too bad, but stuff is happening over here, day 15.